So we have you here. It's been a while since uh, done um, a spotlight like this. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about your car? Yep, so it's a 98 uh, Nissan Skyline. I got it about four years ago, um, back in 2020 when I first got here. I didn't have plans on getting one right away, but uh, this one pretty much came in like a, like a blessing in disguise because um, I've been looking, looking. I initially wanted the blue one because you know, Paul Walker mm. drove a blue uh, R34. So I found a blue one, uh, tried to buy it. Two days after, they messaged me back saying um, someone local looked at it and bought it on the spot. So I was like, I was a little devastated because it was a really nice and clean car. Um, I think I've heard about that. Yeah, so his name is John, John Sims. Uh, it's where I got the car from. So he told me he had this car just sitting on his lot for the longest time because uh, I think he bid it for someone and they ended up not getting it. So it's just been sitting there. So, yep, this is it. <laughs> it's right here. But when you first had it, you didn't initially start building the car, right? No, so I've been telling everyone, um, the first purchase I ever bought for the car was the Nismo spark plugs, because I know it's a 20 year old car, so I want to be uh, upkeep with all the maintenance and stuff. So the first thing I bought was uh, spark plugs and some tank coilovers, because I can't be riding high. <laughs> and the pretty cool thing I want to mention, because you know, it's an R34, mm -hmm. I actually sent the money uh, 4th of March. So it's the 34 day, so. I'm curious myself, like what is some of the influences for you to get a skyline a lot of people you know it's maybe it's the movie or mm -hmm. you know a family member had one or whatever the case so what was your reason so before the skyline i was really big into hondas because coming from hawaii um, most of the people there um, like their hondas mm -hmm. so before this i drove a acura tsx uh, i just grew up watching fast and the furious as, as soon as i saw the first one when he was pulling up with like the NOS on the sides and everything, I was like, I fell in love. And when I found out that I'm going to Japan, I was like, I gotta get I me a Skyline. To, to yeah, it's like, it's gotta be a 34. Like no offense to the 32 and 33s. Like I just fell in love with the 34. What have we done to this car? So when I got the car, it was all stock. Um, so pretty much, like I said, I started with the, um, the tank coilovers. I started with the suspension. So right now, uh, as far as the suspension work, I have all the arms from GK Tech for the front and rear. And then when the engine was getting built, I rebuilt the subframe with like uh, solid bushings and all that. And pretty much just do like a, like a mini restoration. I have a full East Bear uh, aero, aero kit on the car from the front bumper, the hood, the side skirts, the rear bumper and the spats. And then I ended up throwing some um, Nismo over fenders from a GTR to give it like a little wider look. As far as the wheels, I'm rocking a, a Race 57CR. It's a 18 inch by nine and a half all around. For the brakes, I got sponsored by R1 Concepts. Uh, they're based from California. Okay. So, so as far as the spoiler, it's from Australia. It's called uh, Carbonetics. The tail lights, I have like a, a Nismo LED tail lights. Just a quick shout out. He got the, the Ray uh, Graham lights. We are a dealer for Rays. <laughs> so if someone wants to buy Rays, uh, we got the you. plug. <laughs> Drivetrain. So right now I have a, a brand new RB25 transmission because when I first got the car, um, I talked to Honori at N Factory and he told me to just change the transmission and it's a good thing that Nissan still um, produces it so mm -hmm. I just went to the dealership and ordered a new transmission so it's a stock RB25 transmission with a ORC twin plate clutch and then right now after all the build I'm running a um, um, one piece drive shaft from Connor Steer oh and I have a Nismo uh, 1.5 LSD mm. yeah stock axle so I'm hoping it will not brave.
And the engine is complete factory, right? <laughs> it was, but um, so I just had it built. Um, so I took it to N Factory, Nori. I'm pretty sure everyone knows him if you're from Okinawa. A lot of people know him. Yeah. So for the bottom end, um, I was able to borrow a block from a friend. So it was sent up to mainland for machining. Um, as far as the crank, um, extended nose collar was installed and balance and all that. And then for rods and pistons, I went with CP pistons, um, 86 and a half bore and um, BC rods. Uh, the turbo, I went with a Borg Warner EFR 9274. Um, exhaust manifold is six boost. And then for the cold side, I'm running um, a zero fab intake manifold with a 80 mil throttle body. And then um, I have a four inch HKS intercooler. So for fuel, I have um, Walbro 450 liter per hour um, fuel pump. And then I have a Tomei fuel pressure regulator and also a 1000 TC fuel injector clinics. Okay. So eventually I'd like to do a flex fuel. So, mm -hmm. cause I know when I get back to the States, um, they'll have E85 available, yeah, right. but that's a later on problem. Yeah, there's no reason to do that here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the uh, interior. So. so yes, for the interior, I went with the Bride Eurysters 2, mm -hmm. and I also have like a three-point uh, sable uh, harnesses. And then for the rear seats, it was made by no other MMF Auto Works. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was the vision that I always had and you delivered. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is what I already had in mind. Like I know I wanted to do like a Nismo inspired build because I know a lot of people say, oh, it's not even Nismo, it's not from a more factory. So that's why I say it's uh, Nismo inspired. So. Well, it's Nismo inspired, but most importantly, it's your car. Yeah, yeah. And then shout outs to my sticker guy, Okie Doki Decals. He doesn't just make stickers, he also make a lot of souvenir stuff for Okinawa. So hit him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I got a question for you. Sure. Um, so you mentioned that you have the R1 mm -hmm. um, concepts for the brakes. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how'd you, how'd you nail that? I have a buddy from Hawaii, he has a, he has a full carbon fiber Supra, mm -hmm. and um, when I was looking for a brake kit, I remember he had one, so I hit him up, I was like, bro, how was the, the brakes on your Supra? And then, that's when I started talking to R1 Concepts, he said like, it was great, he had it for years, mm -hmm. and I hit him up, so they hooked me up with a, with a set of brakes, mm -hmm. and they said, I'm pretty, they're pretty sure it's the first one on the R34, so. Of course, first of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity for inviting me here. No problem. And thank you. I want to say thank you to my family, especially my wife and my kids for supporting me with this hobby because I know it ain't easy and it takes a lot of time. So thank you guys. And of course, to uh, my friends that helped me along with the build. It's a lot of uh, blood, sweat and tears into this car and all the people, all the shops that helped me um, got here um, to mention uh, APS Audio. Um, he did a lot of electrical stuff to the car, um, MMF with my seats, um, and factory for the engine build, JG Performance for tuning. Um, I know there's a lot more, sorry if I forgot, but thank you. Thank you for everything. The car wouldn't be here without all of you guys, so appreciate it. I mean, to me, it still doesn't feel real, like having to own this car. Like every day I come out of my house, I see it on my parking spot, so. Sometimes it could get overwhelming, but it's such a great feeling because I never thought all of this would happen. Like, just the thought of living here in Okinawa, Japan is like, never in my dreams that I would expect it to be real. And I'm here. I lived there for four years and having to take this to mainland was just the cherry on top. Like, that is awesome. Yeah, it's such a dream come true. It still doesn't feel real up to this moment, to be honest. But yeah, I'm very, very thankful for all the opportunities. Cool. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank God that everything that you've done to the car was absolutely free. You didn't have to spend a dime. <laughs> they gave it to me. It's like that. They gave it to me. They put the price right here. <laughs>